This is my second term in office, and so I've worked very hard. Um, I do not plan to invoke any type of negativity at all, but my understanding was is that we get a full rebuttal. If that happens, I'm going to rebut, and I'm not going to get this microphone up after one minute. If I don't have anything to rebut, then I'm willing to um, stay here as long as you guys want or, or get up, give up the microphone very fast. So let me tell you again, those of you who don't know me, I have thoroughly, thoroughly loved my job working in the Senate for two terms. I have um, my best, my most favorite part of representing people, and some of you in here I represent, and you call them me for, for favors or for help from time to time. I have been there for you. I answer that. my emails. I do everything that I think that a good legislator should do. And of course, the Columbia part is a part of it. But what I really love is being able to fix things and do things here. Now, how do I get that done and how have I gotten it done? Well, my paying job is representing law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs, coroners, those kind of things. I've had that job for about 34 years. And in so doing, I've done it for many, many, many agencies. And I finally started realizing that the lawyers for those agencies, when they call upon me for help, they didn't realize that, say, if the city of Charleston had had this same legal problem, North Charleston, you know, could help, but, you know, those kind of things. And they just never, ever worked together. And I finally was like, guys, y'all need to work together. You're calling on me to say, solve the same problem that I've already solved for another agency. So what, when I got in office, what I decided to do, and I ran based on needs for law enforcement, um, which is one of the reasons I did get the Legislator of the Year for Law Enforcement. They might be a little bit prejudiced, but um, but anyway, so when, when I did run, I got in office, the first thing I did was try and get agencies to work together, and we started the Flood Task Force. I hope that none of you have experienced flooding, but a lot of people have. And so what I had to do is get these agencies together and get out of the mindset that this is the city property, city has to fix. This is DOT property, DOT has to fix. We had one neighborhood that had five different colored trash cans and agencies that had to help. So to get the ditches cleaned out in that one neighborhood, I had to get five of them together. We did it, we got it done. The, the better thing is, is not only have we started the flood task force, and if you have um, brochures over there on the table, if you have neighbors or friends that need this information, grab it and I'm happy to tell you exactly how we do it. It's really pretty easy and you'll be able to sign your friends and neighbors of the thing you help. So um, what, we, what I did after the flooding task force is also to look at infrastructure. And infrastructure of course has, is just a nightmare. We are the number one um, state now for people moving into our area. And we have to, I did the same exact model. I got DOT to work with the county, to work with the city, and not just me, I don't want to say it's all me, my other elected officials help me as well. I have a great working relationship with the locals, and what we've done then is to get the locals to come together. The last hurricane we had, I was so proud. I was on the phone saying, hey DOT, can you get this tree? It's really right over there where you're working. They had already done it. Um, all these agencies started helping get the trees out of the way, even though it was not on their roadway. And it worked because they've become friends now because I kind of give them group hugs and, and we get a lot of stuff done that way. I'm, I'm being told I have to hurry up. As far as I do want to talk a little bit about vaccinations. I never gave my own child a vaccination and there's a reason for that. And I will never let anybody try and put any vaccinations in your arm. Uh, NRA loves me right now. Loves me right now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, am I, I got a bill. Okay. Well, I'm just going to tell you this. We have a Democrat in this race, so you've got to pick the person that's best to be able to win the race. Keep that in mind, and I'm looking forward to answering any questions and probably a rebuttal.